There we go. There we go. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yo, yo, yo. What's up? What's up? And hello, ITZX. Craig, welcome. Thank you for joining the broadcast. How's it going, buddy? Shows a lot from the W fam. Got me to follow back. Nika to the channel. Yeah, gladly. <laughs> but yeah, a bit of an update from the last Topic Key segment where I still stand by my defense of Emil, aka Chucky Conroy, and the, like, his innocence of the accusations labeled against, uh, lobbied against him. I still believe, truthfully, that Emil was not responsible for first forcing someone into a foot fetish. I still don't believe any of that ever happened. <coughs> so what's the update? As it turns out, Emil was not Emily's first victim. She's gone on to accuse a ton of other people before she targeted Emil. I'm not kidding. <clears throat> it came to my attention that she is a serial accuser. And when it comes to her content and everything, like Emil and her stand more or less on equal ground. That still doesn't dip. That still doesn't um, argue away my original hypothesis that uh, he just wanted to do this for clout. But it does paint a um, more than enough of a picture of Emily just to know exactly what kind of person she is. Evil to the core. And honestly... I don't understand why people like that are just allowed to go on and on and on about, oh, uh, let's see, what can I do with that person? I don't like him. I'll destroy it with a false accusation. It's downright evil. And I'll be frank. Disgusts me. To my very core. I shared this video on um, my Twitter page. Primarily because it's honestly important that I do so. Like, I've alluded to the whole witch hunt mentality and how it's just dangerous and destructive. This right you see going on here is a video that I prompted from um, in video to AI to further make the point as to why and how witch hunts are a dangerous mentality. Just right quick. The dangers of false accusations unmask. Uh, I can't exactly see the full title of the video, unfortunately. But... I'll go ahead and uh, read you the, the video title as a whole. Alright, that's all it is, unfortunately. Why do I still have the in video tab open? Yes, right here. The danger of false accusations, unmasking witch hunt mentality. That's the full title of the uh, video. And with that, let's play the video, shall we? Have you ever considered the dangerous power of a lie? A single false accusation can ruin lives, careers, and reputations. Today, we delve into the darkness of this phenomenon, exploring the real-life consequences of false accusations and the modern-day witch hunts they often spark. Consider the case of the Central Park Five, five teenagers wrongfully accused and convicted for a crime they did not commit. These young men spent between 6 to 13 years in prison, their youth stolen from them, their futures tainted by a crime they never committed. A single lie, bolstered by public hysteria and a rush to judgment, changed their lives forever. Or perhaps you've heard of the infamous Salem Witch Trials of the late 17th century. A small village in Massachusetts was consumed by fear and paranoia. 
resulting in the false accusations, trials, and executions of 20 people. Lives were lost, families torn apart, and an entire community destroyed by the powerful sway of groundless allegations. These are not isolated incidents. In the present day, the rise of social media has only amplified the potential for false accusations to spread like wildfire. The case of Sunil Tripathi serves as a chilling reminder. Wrongly accused on social media of being one of the Boston Marathon bombers, Sunil faced a torrent of online abuse and harassment, even though he had nothing to do with the crime. The false accusation took a heavy toll, not only on Sunil, but also on his family. What do these cases tell us? They highlight the devastating and long-lasting impact of false accusations and witch hunts. They remind us of the human cost of jumping to conclusions without evidence. They underline the importance of due process and the presumption of innocence. False accusations can ruin lives, destroy families, and tear communities apart. They can create an environment of fear and mistrust, stifling open dialogue and constructive debate. And modern-day witch hunts, whether they take place in a courtroom or on social media, only serve to amplify these damaging effects. In the case of the Central Park Five, the Salem Witch Trials, and Sunil Tripathi, we see the dangerous power of false accusations and the devastation they can wreak. We see the long-lasting harm they can inflict on individuals, families, and communities. So as we close this exploration, let's remember the lessons these cases teach us. The presumption of innocence is a cornerstone of justice. Due process is essential. And above all, we should be cautious of the power of a lie, the damage it can do, and the witch hunts it can spark. It's essential to hold on to these lessons to question, to verify, and to think critically before we pass judgment. In doing so, we can help to prevent the harm caused by false accusations and witch hunts and work towards a more fair, just, and compassionate society. I didn't notice that my um, Yeti was at the default mic for some reason. But also, send uh, Sanpo Savage. Welcome, thank you for joining the broadcast, and thank you for the follow. Thank you for joining the broadcast. How's it going, buddy? And welcome to the Miiverse Quadrant. Yeah, I shared that video directly on uh, to uh, my personal Twitter page because this is something that is important to really take a dive into and really just exposes exactly how dangerous of a mentality this truly is. <sighs> Not just societal damage as a whole, but just the simple simplest of grudges even for the most minute of things can cause someone their life their livelihood their fucking futures all just kept away because of a grudge or simply because someone isn't liked. It's sickening. And this is a practice that we need to end. Just, it cannot be allowed to continue. It can't. Doing good. How, are you? How about you? At least, doing good for the most part. <sighs> I really hate the witch hunt mentality. And I wish people would just not believe an accusation blindly. Like, oh, somebody killed somebody, it must be true. No. Always think critically when someone... <coughs> not only makes an accusation, but always ask for evidence of it. And make sure all of the context is there. Because we've seen doctored screenshots or any other form of evidence to falsify a claim against someone else in order to make it look legitimate. 
it is absolutely disgusting and a lot more innocent men are being destroyed by this very practice. And it needs to come to a stop, honestly.